My name is Irvin, also known as Kobo Man. This is an exciting video for me because I'm building a brand new computer for video editing and gaming. Some of the requirements that I have are i9 with lots of RAM and good GPU. For this, we're using a Gigabyte motherboard, which is Z390 Aorus Pro Socket 1151, which will go really well with our i9 9900K CPU. For a RAM, we're using Rip Jaw. DDR4, 16 gigabytes in total. For storage, we're using solid state 500 gigabyte by Samsung and 9700 Evo for the operating system, which is M.2 type. Of course, we can add more storage later. For cooling, I've decided to go with Corsair H60 water cooling. And for graphics card, we're using MSI GeForce RTX 2060. And for to power everything is EVGA 500 watt power supply. Links to all parts in the description box below. First thing we're gonna do here is remove the plastic cover that covers our CPU socket. Afterwards, we're going to use our zero force insertion lever to remove the actual plate that pushes down onto the CPU. Then we're going to open our CPU Carefully make sure we don't touch any contacts below the CPU and also any contacts that are in the socket itself because we don't want to bend any of those pins. One way to make sure that we insert the CPU properly is to align the notches that are there, as you can see. Then we're going to lower it in there carefully and going to use our zero force insertion lever to close it back up. So just take your time with this, very important because this is very expensive. That CPU at this time I'm recording this was $530 plus tax. So we want to be careful about that. Then we're going to install our VNAND SSD M.2 solid state drive. This motherboard comes with two, of two, uh, two uh, options to install this. The first one is too long, the second one is just the right length, so we're going to use it in that one. Of course, you can use it in the other one as well. Uh, the, what you see on top, the black part, is actually a heatsink, which I was very surprised to find in this motherboard. Uh, once we remove the heatsink, we're going to insert our M.2 solid state drive on an angle like that first, and then we're going to lower it down carefully, making sure that all the contacts are present. Then we're going to use our heatsink we're going to remove the little sticky part that covers it it's going to stick on there we're going to then use the screw that came with the motherboard to reattach the m.2 solid state drive which is crazy fast by the way this is the back of it this motherboard comes with wi-fi and bluetooth also optical out for audio which is really cool and then you have standard connectors for audio we got network we got usb 3.0 usb type c for fast charging and usb 3.1 now we're going to install our RAM and just take your time with anything you do every time you build a computer alike. So kind of push it down evenly on both sides and that should do it for that. For this, we're using a really cool case, which is NZXT H500i and it comes with um, all kinds of cool stuff. The uh, standoffs for the motherboard were already inside the case. so I didn't have to actually install those. Now it's time just to put the motherboard inside and then use the screws that came with the case to attach it a pro tip push on the motherboard a little bit so you can align the holes properly for the first couple of screws and then afterwards we're just going to reattach or attach all the screws that are provided to us and then don't don't go too crazy with anything that you do uh, just kind of make sure it's tight enough and because it's not going to go anywhere with so many screws next we're going to use uh, install our adapter plate on the back of the motherboard for our water cooling block which has a self adhesive sticky which is really cool makes it a lot easier then we're going to use our spacers for the water block that we're going to attach there are four of them you can do this by hand you don't need to use any tools which is really cool so we're going to attach that and then afterwards we're going to mount our radiator for the, as part of the water cooling. It, in my case, this case allowed me to remove the plate that holds the water cooler or any other fans that you want to attach. So that's really cool. I'm gonna remove this and I'm gonna attach the radiator as you can see there. And uh, I'm going to bring it back and show you how it looks like here in a second. And that's how it is. Then I'm gonna reattach it. And I'm gonna run the cables to the back 
or the other side of the motherboard because that's where the cables are being routed after I attach this. Now we can get to the point where we attach our block. It has a plastic cover. It has a thermal paste attached already on there or applied, so we don't have to worry about that. We're going to use the nuts that came with it, and then we're going to attach our water block, and which we will use a cross pattern um, screw on these for these for these screws or I should say uh, nuts. So make sure you take your time. Don't tighten too much. Just go by hand and go cross sections so it's evenly distributed when it comes to thermal paste and everything else. Once you do that, you should be good to go. Now we're going to uh, install our graphics card for that. I'm removing the back plates that are there. We're going to use our PC Express that's closer to the CPU. We're just going to make sure it's unlocked by pressing that little notch there. Once we align the GPU, it's just a matter of aligning the slot, which you really can't make a mistake on because there's only one way to do this. Once we align it properly, we're just going to push down on the GPU and make sure it sits down firmly and is secured. Once we do that, we're going to attach the screws that are provided as well with the case. There are two screws in total that well, I'm just going to show one looks like it there. Sorry about that. Anyways, that's the uh, power connector for the water cooling, which we will attach afterwards. We can see where the cables are routed and to attach the solid state. They have two parts of it. it there's this little kind of uh, adapter that's there. It's very cool to use. You just kind of press on it and it detaches. Then we're going to attach our solid state drive onto it with screws that came with that as well. Then I'm just going to clip it back on. And then afterwards, I'm just going to connect all the cables, which I didn't want to put on the video because it's self-explanatory. You just plug it in. You know, it's very simple. From there here, I decided while I was here to attach the power supply unit. And for this, it's just four screws. And you can see how all the cables on the left-hand side would be connected on the back of the case itself, which makes it very clean install afterwards. Unfortunately, I don't have a modular power supply here, but that's okay. So after we're done, we're going to have routed the cables through the back side to the front, from the back side to the front, and attach them accordingly. Make sure you attach all your SATA connectors as well. Of course, the, the front panel, audio, and any fans that you have as well are connected. This is the finished product. Let's see if it turns on. Yay, it works. Awesome. And of course, it comes with uh, this motherboard has a full RGB that can be changed. These colors can be changed. And it looks like Corsair lights up as well, the uh, water cooling part of it. And uh, when it comes to this build, it was pretty straightforward. The case made it a lot easier. And uh, you get some Hawk action for the LED for the motherboard itself. Again, you can change these colors anything you want. It's really cool if you're into that type of stuff. And um, that kind of finishes up our build for the i9 uh, uh, i9 desktop that I need for video editing mainly, to be honest. And, uh, you know, all the parts were very easy to install. You just kind of have to follow instructions and take your time. So I encourage anybody to do it. There is a link to all of these parts in the description box below. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I will go ahead and do actually some more benchmarking of this and if you need those benchmarks please let me know and i'll post it on my other channel if you're into gaming or stuff like that that's related to the computers all right guys i hope you like this video please share it with friends or family and the last thing to do here is actually remove the little sticky vinyl protective thing of the glass panel or the glass door that's on this computer there it is. All right. All right. Thanks again, guys. Have a good one. Bye-bye.